Hello, friend. Welcome to Android Chess, written in Kotlin. This is the golden thumb. And in the last video, we successfully connected to a Java socket server and uh, received the game move in a string, right? Like uh, four numbers separated by comma. For example, zero comma zero comma zero comma one, right? So in this video, let's try to use this database, uh, this data, to upgrade our client side, the the Android chessboard. Okay, so to do that, um, let's bring up the the game here. So when we receive the the data here, right, in the string, let's pass it, and uh, to. Uh, to separate the four numbers of two pairs of coordinates, right? From and two, right? From colon from row and two colon two row. So we can update. Uh, the important thing is this is this is inside the background thread, and we we have to put the the code. Updating the UI in a UI thread. Kotlin is very, very cool by providing a very convenient method run on UI thread. Okay, so uh, I'll show you the, the code. How do we pass the, the string? And uh, to get out the four integers out of that, okay, in Java, it's like that. This is our, yeah, the the working code on our uh, j desktop Java, right? So when we receive our, the data from the from the network, we get a string, move string, right? Then we pass that we split the four numbers out to get an array. And then we yeah pass INT to get the, the four numbers out. Now using Kotlin, this can be much, much uh, simplified. Okay, so let's do it here. And uh, I think we can that's that's coming out this line because we don't want to call this function twice so scanner dot next line right so this we get a string so we can call it a split right providing the delimiter like that then here the return value the return value is an array of string right so we can use this trick to map. The map will provide our transform function to transform each element to um, the, the, the output element of the output list, OK? So the return type of this one is a list. Now, what is the what is the function to do the conversion? It dot to int right. Where the it is the each element of the of the of the original here. The string array returned by the split, then we change each string to int like that. So this one, um, yeah, so value of our move. So th the data type of this one is list of int like that. So we can use move sub zero for the first, right? First number, first. Okay, let me 
we can hide this part for now. Yeah. So again, this guy returns an array of string. Then using the map function call, right? We can map an array of string to a list of int. Uh, actually, yeah. So sorry about that. Uh, to be more accurate, it's not an array of string. It's a list of string. Yeah, we map a list of string to a list of integer using this mapping function. Okay. So now, here is the magic. Run on UI thread. Okay. What do we do here? We are calling movies, right? <laughs> using from colon from from colon is this guy sub zero the first number move sub one oh and move sub two and move sub three so this one is um, it's getting more and more popular today okay it replaced a for loop like it's like it, it, it's like embedded the for loop inside that mapping all it the li a list of one type to yeah you can put whatever logic here right you can do complete the calculation here but for for us it's very simple we just map a, a string like double quote zero double quote right to zero yeah something like that we change the string of a number to its real number now let's give a try okay here is our socket server let's run it okay put it here and uh, now we need to launch our okay listen listening on pod 50,000 okay here now let's bring up our uh, client Android chess okay let's show our console on the socket server and uh, its user interface here now let's do connect here connect you see connected from here right this is the machine of the local host okay now let's try to make a move look here Ta -da. you see it's magic right gorgeous night wow with so little code here right we can delete this one now with just the basically three lines of the code right we finished such a good feature thanks to Kotlin and that's it Thank you for watching, see you next time.